That's right. It's another Sativa Knife review. Possibly the last one. So please stick around. Welcome back, everybody. So, this is the last Sativa knife I'm buying. Well, at least the last one that really interests me. Plain old box, just like all the others, with a little Amazon label on the bottom there. And let's see what we got. Okay, we got that wiping cloth. And we have the Sativa. ST triple one D2 steel. So I'm gonna give you guys some time to really look at this while I read some stuff from the product page. So Sativan ST triple one folding knife D2 steel blade G10 handle pocket knife pocket clip tool blah 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 blah. Uh, dimensions overall length 22.7 centimeters or 8.94 inches blade length 9.8 centimeters and it's a flipper you know I like that uh, blade length 9.8 centimeters or 3.86 inches handle length 12.9 centimeters or 5.08 of an inch weight 148.5 grams or 5.23 ounces. All right. And these handles, they did, has great grip to them. They got uh, almost like a checkered pattern on there. That's awesome. Awesome positive grip. Awesome. Current price on Amazon is $27.99, just like the others. All right. Let's take a very close look at everything. It's got kind of a funky lanyard hole. You know, it's more of a flat lanyard hole. goes through the steel liners. As you can see, we got some stylized posts there. They're almost hourglass shaped. Very cool. There's your pocket clip. Very nice. Very nice. Looks really nice. If you look in there in the liners, they do, the steel liners does have cutouts. See that? There's a lot of cutout in there to probably lighten it. Same on the other side. Hmm. There's not much lock up there. Let's see if it's, uh-oh, uh-oh. If I really snap it, it does lock up, but it's like just, I don't know, one or two percent. Looks like I got another knife to fix. Now, the average user out there, if you get a knife like this, and you're not comfortable taking them apart and fixing them, send it back. Send it back with an explanation of why you're sending it back. Ask for a refund or a replacement. Okay? One of my uh, subscribers made the comment, you should send it back and see what their uh, replacement and service is like. And to a, t to a point, I agree with that. Me, personally, I know I can fix it, so I'm just going to fix it. I'm not going to mess around with a return. But for the average person, that's what I would recommend. Okay. It feels very sharp. Let's, uh, let's shave some hair, shall we? No, well, there's hair on the blade. See all that? So 
it is sharp. Let's get some notebook paper in here. Oh yeah, I'm sorry, not notebook paper. Uh, phone book paper, jeez. I don't know where my head is today. It seems to cut very well. That's pretty sharp. All right, equal cut. So let's check the weight because I, you know, the weight isn't always 100% correct. And I'm okay with that. As long as it's close, you know? All right, let's do pounds first. Five and one eighth of an ounce. Specs say 5.23 of an ounce. That's pretty close. In metric, 145 grams. Uh, specs say 148.5. So it's well within spec. Uh, one thing I didn't mention, D2 steel blade, 58 to 60 Rockwell hardness. Okay. I think it's a great blade shape. I kind of like these pointy ones. I like it when it's pointy. <laughs> I love the the green scales. It currently is available in green and black. So if you don't like the green like I do, you can go with the black scales. The clip, you know, it's not drilled and tapped on the side so you can't move the pocket clip, not without doing that yourself. And like I said, the one I got, the lockup is kind of eh. You know, you got some, some jimping there on the flipper, which is fine. It flips really good. You know, they've got this whole ball bearing thing down pat. It's very even. You know, it's very centered. I just like the whole styling of it, especially with those hourglass spacer posts. And it, man, I hope that's coming through camera where you can see those cutouts in there. It's got some big cutouts. This one, unfortunately, oh, now it locked. That locked up really good that time. I just wonder if it needs to be broke in. Let's try that again. Okay. That locked up a lot better that time. Maybe it just needs some breaking in. <laughs> but before... No, it locked up there. And it locked up there, just not that much. I guess I just got to put a little bit more snap on it, and it gets good lockup. It's just that if I was trying to do it quietly, you know, trying to ease this out like that, I wouldn't have, you well, know, it is locked up. Yeah, I like that. The handle is very comfortable. You know, this clip doesn't give me any, you know, I was expecting more of a hot spot with that clip, but I'm just not getting it. You know, it's low profile enough. Okay, let me go grab a pair of jeans and we're gonna see how this looks in pocket. I grabbed a black pair of jeans, so the green will show up a little bit better so we can just see how much of it is poking out. All right. That's about what we're looking at, poking up. Not too bad. Let me pop it in my pocket of the jeans I'm wearing and see how it feels. Yeah. You know, it, it's got enough of a low profile that it's not it's not huge in the pocket, but it's definitely got some weight to it compared to other pocket knives. I mean, you can you can feel that weight. 
totally feel that way. I kind of like this cutout here, you know, for your thumb. That is slick. I do like this. I do like this style quite a bit. Final thoughts time. I think for the price, the ST111 is a good deal. It's got very good styling. It's got a nice handle. I love the scales. I love the checkering, you know, that they did on these scales. The lanyard hold's kind of funky, but I don't know. I guess... I guess I'm old school. I like round lanyard holds, but whatever. The lockup is a bit funky for me because I'm of the opinion that a knife should always lock up even if it's real lightly brought like this. And that's kind of a weak lockup. I, I you know. Now, if I snap it, the lockup is right where it should be. But if I just gently rotate that, it's not getting what I would consider a good lockup. Like I said, maybe I'm being a little bit, a little bit uh, OCD about that, but I just don't like the idea of a folding knife accidentally closing on my fingers. I love these pivot screws the way they did them they look pretty pretty cool you know it's a uh, ball bearing pivot in there it's super smooth in fact let's see yeah you can do the, the gravity close the one-handed close so yeah Probably with a little bit of oil, I'd make it even slicker. <laughs> it's a good knife. Um, outside of that lockup being funky a little bit for me, you know, I'm going to still give it a thumbs up. That's just how I feel about it. You know, if you had a real poor lockup like we had on the 106, the 106, no matter what I did from factory, was not locking up properly at all. That one had to be taken apart. This one, this one might break in. I might not have to take it apart. I'll have to keep an eye on it, and uh, later on down the road we'll see. Um, like I previously said, this is my last Sativan folding knife I'm buying, because these were the models that interested me the most. So later on, there's going to be a follow-up video where I go back over these. And uh, if any of you have a Sativan folder that you're really nuts about, hit me up in the comments. Give me the model number. Let me know why. Um, and that's pretty much all I got to say. ST111, thumbs up. Not bad. Just watch out for that lockup. And uh, I will see you later on out in those woods. Thank you for watching.